Hello, hi once again. Um, second afternoon, but that's becoming tired. <laughs> Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 939. And today we're going to talk about how another idea, another reason, another method, another path to make 2020 your new year awesome. Sound good? Okay, let's jump into this. Um, I've done a few talks already in case you haven't seen my other broadcasts, and I will tell you the back end where you can watch the replays. I did talk about this yesterday day before yesterday definitely um one of the reasons one of the ways you can make 20, 2020 an amazing year this is another reason so call it number two for the sake of argument um i've also posted some replays from last year year before because those show up in my memories and they're on the same theme for some reason this time of year so today we're going to talk about um well simple terms blessing your past sounds so sounds so religious but it's not that way <laughs> so um by the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I, before I've done this every day now for three years. So I'll tell you about that at the end. This is something else entirely um, right now. So let me keep it going. Today, talking about um, how this year has been for you. So how has your 2019 been? Has it been fun? Has it been great? Has it been challenging? Has it been the worst year on record? Or has it been the best year on record? Of course, only you can answer that. But before you jump into the new year and go, let's just start the new year with a pizzazz and punch and Again, please watch yesterday's broadcast. I talked about resolutions being a bad idea. So definitely watch yesterday's broadcast, um, which is episode 938, this is at 939. But today I'm gonna to talk about how you can make this year a benefit for next year. And I don't, I can say this. <laughs> it's tempting to say, well, I'm gonna use this year as the building blocks from the rubble to the next year. It's like, that sounds very poetic, but that's not what I mean. In fact, what I'm talking about here is how do you look at this year as a, well, actually, you know what? Maybe I do mean it that way. Hmm. <laughs> if you haven't seen my broadcast before, they're never scripted. So sometimes things come through in a way that is free flow. Sometimes it's more challenging. But what I really get to the point of saying here is that this past year has been part of your life experience. And in fact, I've talked about this many times before, where if you're happy where you are now in your life, then everything that came before basically has to be, um, made okay. If you're in a place where you regret where you are now, then yes, there can be things in the past that are still sticking out as bad problems to be solved, issues, challenges, etc., upsets like that. However, if where you are in your life right now rocks, if it's great, if it's wonderful, then on some level, not all levels, but on some level, you want to be in a place where you have a sense of, sorry, I'm straight my collar there, um, gratitude for what came before. Even the bad stuff. Yes, even the bad stuff. But what I'm talking about specifically though is this past year. Now I've, let me speak personally, I've had a pretty interesting year this year. Um, lots and lots of lessons. I think I'll leave it like that for that moment. <laughs> um, for example, okay, for example, I'll give you some examples. I've had some great opportunities to learn, to grow, to become more, um, what's the one looking for? Expanded, humble, <laughs> grateful there's a few things but for example um the, the i mentioned i'll put the link in the comments you can check it out afterwards the new group masterclass i'm launching in january has been evolving over this past year <laughs> it's had a few titles a few ideas behind it a few a few missed launches but i look back and go you know they they taught me better things so yes there is a sense of being grateful for what came before but also and this is one of the biggest things about 2019 that we use for your reference is if you made a mistake in 2019, that should be a clear um, record of what not to do in 2020. Make sense? So some things you may have done in 2019, maybe you made a, made a bad investment or you made it, chose a bad relationship. I'm not gonna check on that. Or did something that was more um, problematic than you wanted. Whatever that was, Hopefully there's a lesson in there, there's a feedback in there, there's an understanding in there, there's a result in there that you can take into 2020 and say, I'm not doing that this year. Or I'm, or the other way around that is if you realize you missed an opportunity this year where you didn't say yes to something, or you didn't choose to ask the right person out or be asked out by the right person or say yes to the right person or whatever that was in relationship, or didn't choose to relocate to a new city that you felt called to go to, but you didn't do it, you ignored it. Maybe 2020 is the time you say yes to those things. So it goes either way. Things that you said yes to this year that didn't work, you may want to say no to next year. Things you said no to this year that didn't work and you want to say yes to next year. 
Simpler? That's good. That's, that's, that's the very simplest way of saying it. So in terms of what I was doing in my course, it wasn't until this one came clear and I started really getting clear in my talks. And in fact, this upcoming masterclass I'm teaching in January was really the result of some of my Facebook Lives um, Early, earlier in December, I'll say that much. I'm not sure when exactly what, what exactly it was. But I did some talks that spoke to certain pieces of what I realized is what people need in their lives. That became clear that I was a need, what I need to teach in the next masterclass. So everything done before that was formative. And that's the thing, by the way, is that everything I'd written, documented, journaled about, talked about for the last four months are really aspects of what's going to come forward in this masterclass in January. So for me... I can look back at the last four months and even though it wasn't results, it wasn't producing like clients, income, success, testimonials, because it didn't land. Because I knew I was te what I was really doing was test driving certain ideas. And I got feedback from people and a couple of people did sign up, but they may re they're now in the new course because they move forward. But the thing for me was, is recognizing that those were lessons I can use. Because if you're someone who perhaps has gone through each new year unconsciously about what happened before, which a lot of people on the planet do, by the way, so if you did, you're in the majority by far, but you went through last, this past year and you decided the new year as if nothing happened, you're missing on a valuable opportunity to take some lessons from what came before, excuse me, to learn from lessons that happened before that you don't need to repeat the next year. Part of that also is when you did something last year that didn't work, you can say, what can I do differently in the new year that's going to be better? So it's not like just doing the, avert, doing the um, opposite or the... Um, the yin and the yang, the, the, the opposite that way. It's about, okay, what didn't work this year I can tweak for next year. That's what I've been going through. You know, f fourth try, third try. I'm not sure I've lost track of how many tries it's been. But I know now much better what I, than what I did before now works. So for me and then also for my audience next year in the new pro, new masterclass, actually in two weeks, geez, in about two weeks when it starts, is a whole new paradigm. So I'm very grateful for the lessons that I've had this year that have shown me where I was off track and on track to hone in my clarity, my message and my teaching so I can deliver something that's sure of value. Also what's come up, and, and this again speaking personally, the last four months, at least three months of my Facebook lives have been less and less about relationship centric conversations, which I've been talking about for years and coaching about for a long time too, but more about the relationship with self. More and more I'm real, and I've said this for a while now in my coaching, is that most of my work with my clients is to help them really come back to loving themselves, which is not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. So if you've had a challenge with self-love this year, where you've maybe had some challenges or you've been judging yourself or you've been unhappy with what happened, perhaps you wanna look at that differently next year. Perhaps you wanna set some new clarities, new intentions. And again, yesterday's talk, please watch, is where I basically said, don't do, don't do resolutions, they don't work uh, for the new year or since they rarely work. Some people can make them work by brute force, but I'm saying there's a better way of doing it, which again, is yesterday's talk, so please watch that. But what I want to speak to as a, as a bottom line for this nudge reminder invitation is that, well, <laughs> we all make mistakes, <laughs> just to be clear about that. As much as I'm, I'm teaching a lot in my, in my coaching and in my work I do, I'm still learning and I'm still making mistakes, I'm still human, and I know that you are too. So my invitation for you, if you so consider, I did give homework yesterday as well, by the way, so if you do watch this broadcast, be warned, there's homework, um, is to look at your new year from a different place. You might be looking at the new year as like, okay, clean slate, start again, new deck, you know, whatever. It, people are talking about the new decade, and, and just to be transparent, I, I, I agree and disagree at the same time. I love the idea of being a new number, 2020, instead of 2019. Like it's a 20 instead of a teen. We've matured into the adult years. We're out of the teens. <laughs> but the thing is, is, people say a new decade, but officially, excuse me, chronologically or numerically, the new year starts on the one. You know, year one, so basically one through 10 was the first 10 years, and then year 11 was the next decade. So in a way, 2021 is the new decade, not 2020, but anyway. That's arbitrary. So let's just say the new year, 2020 is a new beginning, a new start, a new place to play. <laughs> Making that clear. Are you ready for it? Are you looking at the new year just to say, I'm done with the previous year, I'm gonna move forward? Not my recommendation. Or are you looking at the past year and say, okay, what can I be aware of from the last year? And 
rather than just burying it or just stuffing it, it's like, what can I be grateful for from this past year before I move forward to the next year? For some people, I recommend highly this, this last few days of the year, because we're basically what now? We've got, this is the 27th. So we've got four more days to the end of the year. This next few days, I can recommend it. And if you want to take it on, take it on its homework, you can. But I can recommend highly that if you look at back at the past year and you document what happened this year, it can be a powerful exercise. Something I did, and I mentioned this um, several times, is I have a gratitude jar that I've been keeping all year, and it's stuffed to the gills now. Um, it's down there, so I'm looking down there because it's on the floor by my desk. Is that something I'm going to look at this year? Is take them all out and also look back at your calendar. That's what I recommend you do. This part, the, something I recommend you do the next four days is take out your calendar, whether it's a physical calendar or your phone calendar or your computer calendar, and look back at what you did this past year from January 1st through now. Notice the things you forgot about. And also notice things that have been, maybe you wanted to forget. Two different things. <laughs> what you forgot about, or what you wish you'd forget. There's two different things. And basically look back and can you bless those things? Can you look at those things that happened in the past and appreciate them? Maybe they were bad choices, maybe they were good choices. Either way, can you be thankful? I know there's a few things over this past year that I'm very aware of that were really good choices and some things that weren't so good choices. So I'm getting clear about how I can bless those things and be thankful for those things. And yes, release them in a way that is grateful. In a way that is taking the rubble of the past year and building upon it. Well, some people it is like that. But some people it's just simply elevating, taking the next, going the next floor, the next level, the next step towards what they want to have. 2020 has a lot of um, insight to being a very powerful year, a very transformational year, a very potent year. You know, we just had a... a um, a solar eclipse yesterday. It was yesterday, I think. wasn't available. wasn't visible to us. It was actually over in India and Southeast Asia. But it's a it's a it's a time of turmoil and change and transformation. From what I've been reading, I'm not a scientist in this area, not a specialist, but I've been reading about it. And so it's a pivotal point for a lot of people. So 2020 can be a whole new paradigm, a new experience. And yes, because it is 2020, it's like well, it's a great time for vision. You know, 2020 vision, 2020 hindsight, all that stuff. So. To look clearly at where you want to go, it is important to know where you've been. So as a repeat reminder, as I said in this talk several times, is can you look is look back at your past year from a place of gratitude. Look back from the past year from a place of humility. Look back from look back at the past year from the point of view of education. What did you do right? What did you do wrong? What did you learn? What didn't you learn? What can you learn? What can you take forward to the new year that is refined? that is up-leveled, and that is additive to your life going forward. The new year can be a very interesting time to play. This is a potent place to be in the example, so I'm recommending you do check into um, what it is you want to do for the new year. And I do strongly encourage you, I'm very biased about this, to check out my offering, my BFF masterclass that's coming up in January, early in January. I'll put the link in the comments below so you can check it out. I'll put it in there when I sign off. Um, it is it's going to change your life if you say yes to it which I do recommend you check it out and if it lines up for you say yes to it it's a three month journey a group group journey a master class on fulfillment from the inside out and um, look at the, look at the web page and decide for yourself um, that I think is going to be it as I said before at the beginning, this is my daily Facebook Live I do every day now for over three years. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, first of all, I do my live broadcast at 5 p.m. Pacific time pretty much every day of the week. Sometimes it moves depending on holidays because that's that time of year, but normally 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, although Facebook is not very good at keeping track of them. What can I say? Facebook's not the best system in the world for that. <laughs> I shouldn't say it loudly. They're probably listening to my talk. Um, but I do keep backups on my YouTube channel. So yes, please like my page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. But better yet, if you want to see my broadcast, go to my YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. So all of my talks are out there. Um, and you can sort through, there's a, excuse me, Yes, playlist messages from the masculine. There's a playlist in there. You can sort through all of them. They're all in there from newest to oldest. You can search by keyword, etc., etc., and find what you're looking for. Great place to get some support, get some inspiration, get some ideas. And uh, that's about it, I think, for this this little chat. Let go of the past with gratitude, 
look at the past through humble eyes and be ready for a brand new year when you know the old year is complete. So there was suggested homework being taken on as you want. Um, again, please watch yesterday's broadcast too because that was much more blunt about resolution versus intention because it is a big difference. And uh, with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, today, tomorrow's episode will be what, 9.40, another, another mini milestone. I thank you for watching as always. I appreciate you being with me and I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.